Can you tell us something about your success? I accomplished my complete weight loss in five months, so I'm very proud of that. Do you have anything to say about your surgeon? My surgeon? Uh, I don't know him too well. You mm -hmm. should ask the one that works with him. <laughs> um, how do you feel today, Ethan? Oh, me? Oh, um, I feel great. Like, everything is so much different. You, you get treated different. You feel different. Every morning you wake up different. And just looking at yourself, I mean, just the change of what happened just makes you feel different. <laughs> You won't know <laughs> what makes me. All of my pains are gone. I don't have any more pain. My arthritis got better. I can do a lot more. Um, I used to hurt when I cleaned my house. Now I can clean it and I still go exercise every morning. So I feel great. Do you have anything to say about your surgeon? Of course, I work for him. He's the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Shea is awesome. He's very caring and cares about what you feel and what your needs are. Can you tell us a little bit more about your experience with the surgery? Um, it's, a, it's a learning process. There's a lot of things that you think that you're gonna be able to continue doing and you can't, but at the long, in the long run, it's 100% worth it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. What was the hardest thing for you? The hardest thing, I think, right after surgery. Because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. It's kind of like a learning. I got lucky that she went through it as well. And I was able to learn from her and know what I could do and what I couldn't do. But the only thing that did hinder any type of progress was just not knowing. But other than that, as soon as you get onto it and you get used to everything, everything flies by. And you just feel better after. <laughs> How was the diet process? The two week or the week, the liquid diet before and after surgery. Um, it wasn't bad because I didn't used to eat because I was hungry. I used to eat because I was bored, or because I the food was there and nobody was eating it, so might as well me eat it. I I never ate because I was hungry. I always ate because it was there, so it wasn't difficult for me because I would never get hungry. How about for you as a teenager? Uh, for me, it was it was kind of pretty much exactly like hers, except for me, it was also more of like the emotional process, obviously, because I'm still a teenager and everything. But I mean, whether you be adult or teenager, I mean, it's going to be difficult at first for both of you, but you'll get used to it. You always do. <laughs> it's a life change, but it's worth it, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any advice you would give? Don't give up. It's hard. It really is hard. Even with me being able to go ahead and have like a reflection, uh, a reflection sheet, it's still really hard. But I mean, once you get used to it, like I said, it's the best thing ever. What two days ago he tells me, I wish I could eat a hamburger. Yeah. And then he turns around and says, but a hamburger is not going to give me what this surgery has given me. I'll give. I'll give the option of eating a hamburger and changing my life this way. So to him, it's, this is worth more than him eat, being able to eat a hamburger. What kind of reaction are you getting from the other kids at school? Oh, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it's um, more like, uh, I don't know, before it was kind of hard to like, it wasn't really always any difficult like making friends or anything. But like now that I come in and it's different, I'm a new person. Like I look like a new person and everything, it's different. Everybody wants to talk to you, everybody wants to be around you. It's, I don't know, just weird for me, I guess. But that's again, high school. It's, not everybody's gonna go through that.